Today, we're going to use the overbrush method to paint black marble. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back to the Channel Collectors. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the black marble effect using the overbrush method. So if you're not sure what the overbrush method is, do check out our overbrushing video right here. This video is part of a greater series where I've learned how to paint black marble and white marble using the overbrush method. So make sure you stay till the end because this is a very fast and effective technique for you to get marble texture without using an airbrush. So if you're ready, let us begin. Alright, so we're going to paint some black marble today and these are the colours that you will need. So get these colours ready and let's paint some black marble today. So the surface has been primed with Krylon Camo Brown and I'm going to go with an overbrush of GW Covers Black. So Covers Black will create some kind of texture and this will be the complex layer that we'll be working on. We want to make this have a complex texture and illusion so that there's a little bit of brown, a little bit of black showing through so that yeah it gives the illusion that this black marble is very detailed and very very textured. Textured in the internal layers but externally smooth. So once this stage is done, we're moving on. So right now I'm gonna do some veins in Vallejo model color few blue. So just creating the veins in few blue. So for doing this overbrush stage, I'm actually using a pretty small overbrush to create these veins, and I'm allowing the veins to spread out from a singular point so it's like painting a hand where the veins will have little fingers coming out of the hand and the arm so it's okay to have the arm area be a bit more thick and have the fingers be more thin you want to try to change the angle of the brush to create some complexity too My hair makes a surprise entrance here but right now I'm mixing covers black and few blue to thin down the vein. If you have watched the white marble video, this is a similar technique. So I use this intermediate color to thin out the veins and create some kind of transition. Right now the veins look a little bit fat, however when it's dried you look a lot darker and you will see the result in just a little bit. You want to do this for all the veins and you want to do this also in some random patches right here. Okay, just create some random patches. Create some veins using this intermediate color to create some complexity too. Right, so with a little bit of a little model color blue gray pale, what we're gonna do is we're gonna re emphasize some of the vein, so just very carefully paint the insides of it. Some of the veins can also uh, exceed the existing veins and create fingers of their own.
so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna re-emphasize more veins so using the same color we're just re-emphasizing the veins and creating some complex textures sometimes the veins don't complete in the middle but they complete themselves towards the ends So now we have toned up the greys, we're going to start to balancing by toning down the greys and I'm going to be using Vallejo model color dark grey to create some random patches in between the veins to create that complex marble texture. We want to do this in random patches rather than veins and want to have them big and fat sometimes and have them just random and small at different places. Okay. So after the dark grey, what we're going to do, we're going to deepen some areas and we're going to use Games Workshop Black Templar. It's a contrast paint, transparent black. And we'll have this in random patches just like the dark grey. You want to do this randomly, sometimes overlapping some of the dark grey you've done and sometimes it's just in random areas. Currently what I'm doing is I'm doing this in uh, diagonal veins that are perpendicular to the existing grey veins this will add some complexity and I'm also doing it in patches rather than an entire vein and you will see the results in just a little bit so now with a fine brush we are going to do some edge highlighting and some details to pick out some of the cracked marble and you can see it in just a little bit Currently, I'm using Volume Model Color Blue Gray Pale for this stage. So, this is the final result for the black marble. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I'll catch you in just a little bit. So that was how I painted the black marble using the overbrush method. I hope you found this useful and you will apply this onto your miniature painting technique. So if you do, please tag us on Instagram and all the other stuff so that I can comment and see your results from this tutorial. So at this point of time, I'd like to take the time to thank my patrons for allowing me to do this. It's because of my patrons I'm able to paint and record these videos so that we all get to become better miniature painters. And yeah, if you want to support the channel even further, do head on to our Patreon, links in the description below, and become a patron today. However, for whatever reason, if you can't become a patron, that's okay too. I'd like to thank you for your time watching all the way to the end. 
If you are still watching until now, you must have liked the video and I hopefully like to see you subscribe to the channel and I will hope to see you in the next video. See you. Oh,